Hi guys, thanks for joining me on another video. Um, firstly, apologies that it's been quite a long time since my last video, I think it's about two months. Uh, work and flu and other things just got in the way, so I haven't had a chance to, to make one of these in a while, so I do thank you for um, sticking with me and coming back. Um, anyway, just want to show you a fragrance I bought this week. Um, this fragrance is so new that at the time of making this video, it isn't even on Fragrantica. And it's the one that you see in front of you, uh, in the box, it's Armani Code A-List, a brand new Armani Code Flanker. Now, there's a lot of Armani Code Flankers. Uh, you're probably aware of ones like Profomo, which is very good. Um, a recent one called Colonia, which is rubbish. You've got Ice, Ultimate, Sport, um, Eau de Kebab, Armani Code Wet Wednesday in Windermere, Armani Scent of Dog. I'm joking about the last few, obviously, but there is a, a hell of a lot of flankers with a hell of a lot of weird and wonderful names. Um, this is a new one, it's called A-List. Don't know anything about it, like I said, it's not on for granted. I've only seen it in one store, which I believe they have as an exclusive. Um, so I'm just gonna give you a sort of overview of it, have a bit of a sample, tell you what I think it smells like and take it from there. Um, have been online and found what I think are the notes for this fragrance, but because it's so new and because there's so little information out there about it, I can't be sure that they are 100% correct. Um, one thing I was going to do as well is read you the blurb from Armani's website, but I'm not going to bore you with that. It's the usual nonsense about it being a seductive fragrance for the modern man that will leave a perfect trail in his wake and all that other drivel that PR people pump out when they try to flog something. Um, I prefer to just sort of get my hands on the fragrance, have a sniff, see what it's like, and then tell you um, my honest opinion. So that's what we're going to do. Um, so first up, we're going to look at the box, which... Some people are into boxes for some reason. I have no idea why, but there you go. Simple black, red strap around it. Nothing major. Let's open it up. And there we have the bottle itself. This is a 50 ml, so it's quite a small one. Um, and it's what you would expect from Armani Code. Same design as the rest of the Code range, there's the original code, bigger one because that's 100 ml. Um, you know, same design, but with a red strap this time. Armani code, or Armani say the, the bottle is based on the classic cut of a tuxedo, which clearly it's not. It looks like a rounded piece of crap. But who gives a kill? Toss what the bottle looks like. What we want to know is what it smells like. I am stuttering a little bit now as well. So let's just give this a quick sample. Bit on my wrist. Let's try this out. Well, off the bat, I wouldn't say it's a million miles away from the original Armani code. It's definitely got that DNA there. The sort of tonka and um, leather, but with lemon. In a weird way, kind of smells licorice -y. That's definitely there. I know from the, the notes of this fragrance, they say one of the big, big changes is that it has mandarin and gaic wood to give it a kind of um, smoky smell. But it doesn't seem particularly smoky at all. Um, I'm, I have had actually tested it before because I tested it a couple of days ago when I first bought it on a piece of clothing. And the longevity is held up pretty, fairly well. I can still smell it. Um, on my dressing gown that I sprayed it on today and I first bought this fragrance two days ago. Um, the original code does suffer from pretty poor longevity so hopefully this release, um, this limited edition, will iron that issue out. But on first smell, yeah, I mean, you get a few of the, the slightly smokier, a little bit different to the, the original Armani code, but not a million miles from it. Uh, it certainly, as we say, it does have that DNA. You can still smell code in there. Um, again, it's it's pretty damn nice. Despite all the uh, oversell and all the blurb, I think it's um, a good addition to my collection. One thing I would say is it's not as good as this guy, which is Armani Code Profumo, which in my opinion is the best code flanker. Um, absolute masterpiece release from back in 2016. I don't think this one stacks up as good as that, but it certainly beats the other Armani Code that I currently own, which is Code Colonia, which if you watch my videos, you'll know I'm not really a big fan of. Um, it's okay, 
day fragrance again has the code DNA it's unmistakable but it's kind of watered down and a bit you know meh um, wasn't really a, a you know a great addition to the, the code line um, this one a list is nice it's not really blowing your mind like Performo does so it's not really you know a massively great addition um, to the code range but it's a limited edition it's a little bit different and the emphasis there is on a little bit um, so you know if you don't have the original code and you want to get your hands on something that smells like this great if you own code already um, this isn't going to blow your socks off it's not taking it in any real sort of new direction anyway for what it's worth that is my two pennies worth um, please watch my future videos and if you can please subscribe it does help me out um, currently on just under 800 subscribers when I get to a thousand I will be doing a giveaway uh, well, I'll be giving away some of the scents that I'm not a big fan of in particular um, one fragrance I will be looking to give away is um, Dior um, or Sauvage Parfum not the Sauvage Parfum the new one I'll be giving away the the old um, 2012 version that a lot of people seem to like but in my opinion is pretty polarizing and doesn't um, well I never wear it basically but a lot of people like it so we'll be looking to give that away in fact I'll show you um, it's this one that one there will be up for grabs in about 200 subscribers time hopefully thank you